Emily got she learned the rewards of working with her hands by watching her father weld on the family farm. Now, Emily is passing on what she learned from her father. Next on Elevate Iowa, see how Emily turned a love for welding into a career teaching her craft to a new generation. Welcome to the new Iowa. Elevated past old notions of manufacturing. Where manufacturing is exciting, clean, and a career worth talking about. The Iowa Advanced Manufacturing Grant paid for the state's 15 community colleges to focus on manufacturing in new and meaningful ways. And these are their stories. To look at Emily Gachi, you might not think of her as a dirt under the nails, welding sparks type of girl. But who says there's a look for that? Emily grew up on a sheep farm in Iowa where her dad was, among other things, a scrapper. His work became her hidden passion, and that would someday shock her family. I salvage uh, iron and other metal materials and uh, do a lot of cutting. And uh, when she was growing up, she would come out and watch me cut that stuff. And then occasionally we would repair some equipment and it always amazed her how we could take and weld two pieces of steel together and give them the strength that we could give them. And it was just about like new. And she took an interest to that. And uh, I didn't know she was watching that closely, but she was paying pretty close attention. But uh, she's always been an out outdoor girl. We did a lot of stuff on the farm, our own repair work. We had to fix gates, we had to fix a bucket on the loader, we had to fix a skid loader. I kind of like to play in the farmyard and play in the manure, I guess, I don't know. Um. <laughs> it was about the end of the uh, semester, and she came home and she told me she was going to quit school. And I said, no, I don't think you're going to quit school. Yeah, I'm going to quit, I'm going into welding. Though Emily's father wanted what's best for his daughter, he had not yet noticed that the best thing for her would be to allow her to follow her passion, one that he introduced her to. I would see dad weld, but I never really got to do it myself. I thought it was cool, I could stand near him and stand in the sparks and he'd give me a helmet. And I never really got burned, so I found out that it was neat. And it was neat how he could take two pieces of metal and fuse them together and build something that we could actually use. She went over and enrolled into the welding program and uh, then she was very fortunate because she got along well with the instructor. He made an assistant and uh, then after several years as assistant then he, she was named the welding instructor at Iowa Lakes. And uh, I think she was going to go into history but she told me at that time she didn't want to teach. And it's ironic what she's doing today. <laughs> Emily graduated from Iowa Lakes Community College and became the welding lab assistant, which eventually turned into a full-time welding instructor position. Emily's hidden passion became a reality, but her new mission was not simply to teach welding, but to pass on the passion her father's example created in her. This morning we started the gas tunks and arc welding process. So we really did an introduction how to use the machines, what kind of electrodes you're going to use, and what kind of shielding gases you are going to use. Emily, who surprised her father and followed in his footsteps, has students who are full of surprises too. Nathan Dishler went to school for graphic design. Nick Dishler went to school for accounting. Both realized that the act of creating and problem solving with their hands was their life passions. Emily helped them get there. It was kind of interesting having a set of brothers in the class because sometimes you had to separate them every once in a while. Or you'd have the one brother that was doing better at a process than the other brother. So, you know, you always had to calm one of them down. You know, they were really good students. And then when they got to work with a new group of students come August, they really took a leadership role. And when they took that leadership role, I knew that they were going to be able to make it in the welding field. Did a little bit of welding in high school, not much, just your average run-of-the-mill shop class. Then went to college, uh, I was actually very artsy at the time, went to U and I for, uh, got my bachelor's in graphic design and came back and uh, it, it's not that I didn't like graphic design, I just didn't like, I, I'm more of a hands-on kind of a guy. Uh, Going back to school with Nate. Well, my brother graduated from you and I, I'm sure all you have heard, but I was at Iowa State 
last fall, going to school to be an accountant, of all things. I mean, and you wouldn't, you're looking at me going, oh my, him. He wanted to go to accounting school, and you know, I did, and I got into the business law thing, I said, no, this isn't for me, and so, I went home and I said, you know what, I think I'm gonna go to Iowa Lake for welding. I think I'm gonna move back to Mames. This isn't for me, I need to go work with my hands. I, I love working with computers, but I like to do things with my hands too. And fabrication and all of that really interested me. Well, I knew if you wanted to fabricate something, you need to be able to weld it together too. And that was one of the greatest lessons I learned from Emily, was she would always tell me that. Uh, she would pair me up with someone and be like, hey, I need you to teach them this. And I would always get very nervous, you know, like, all right, you're the instructor, I'm the student. I don't know near as much as you, but she'd always say, no, you're going to learn something from working with this student too. David Gauci's legacy of ingenuity as a scrapper, lived out now by Emily, a highly trained and skilled leader in the welding world, is actively being passed to a new generation of students who have found that they too have a passion for welding, like Andrew, a world traveler whose home is on two wheels. A little bit of a long story, but uh, I'm actually on my fifth college. Yeah. Uh... I lived in Japan a couple years, got into motorcycle riding, and I uh, came back to the States, was uh, down in Ames driving bus, and uh, was looking for a place to kind of go to the next thing. Found uh, Iowa Lakes actually for the motorcycle program. I uh, did that for five semesters, and uh, decided to go ahead and add in the welding because that'll allow me to build custom parts, frames, all that kind of stuff. And eventually I want to start a business, run my own thing, uh, making parts, uh, custom frames, fabrics, stuff up. You know, it feels really great. One of my goals as a teacher, um, welding is a huge passion of mine. And I'm hoping to influence that passion in the students that I am able to teach at Iowa Lakes Community College. She recognizes instantly, like, here's what you're doing wrong, but she doesn't always just give you the answer. She makes you kind of work towards it. You figure it out yourself a little bit more, and uh, I think it sticks a little better that way. You kind of understand the process a little better, so. And nearly everywhere I go, they say, well, you're Emily's dad. Yes, I'm Emily's dad. Well, I had her in uh, welding instruction over at Iowa Lakes Community College. And uh, it's just amazing on the number of kids that come up to me and tell me that. And uh, it's just great to talk to them because they're out making a good living and uh, working well in the community. And uh, really a, a great feeling. It's just overwhelming. And I, I'm totally behind her, 110%. I just, I'm so grateful for her.